Desirable coin. People are already starting to hoard those. So you have people paying premiums for Morgan, 1921 Morgan silver dollars. You have people the year right after that, the 1922 peace silver dollars, going to have the same exact thing. So there's people uh, try to get ahead of that game as well. So you put that in there, then add in the uncirculated condition, add in the $50 off for us. Mm -hmm. And even at 149 like they said nationally advertised catalogs, $226 Mike, if you buy the two individuals. There's yeah. only 400 and I, I mean, 30, we have hundreds of people. On I the mean, phone. it is cr so with everybody on the phone, there's probably only a couple hundred sets left. Yeah, if that, and that's if assuming that. everybody's only buying one or two. What if oh. there's people buying, I got three grandkids, I got a niece and a nephew, yeah, okay, right. I'm going to need five. And I'm a coin dealer. And I'm a coin dealer, right, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. usually what we get yeah. for this kind of bargain. You, know, you and I both know that. Well, you know, half yeah. the quantity is now sold. But that doesn't count, and it takes all that time for all the people to get on the phone. Yes. So that doesn't include the, what, 200, 300 people that we have on the phone. On hsn.com as, 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 as well, express automated ordering if you already have an account. You can use FlexPay on this too. So th if you want to jump in and be a coin collector, by the way, Mike will tell you how you've already been one your whole life, uh, for $33.32, this is going to be maybe the star of your entire collection or the first uh, of a new collection. I mean, uh, this is a big deal and I have presented the peace dollar uh, with you over the years not at this price let me give you a quick 90 second rundown on okay this. so the United States government first uh, made the Morgan silver dollar in 1878 last made it in 1921 that's what this coin is remember we talk about the end of the era oh, the, the legacy code the big book back bookend coin this is the last of the Morgan silver dollars 1921 1920, they, and they did make a 1921 peace dollar, but it was like a high, ultra high relief. You couldn't even stack them, they're crazy coins. So the first year of the regular issue of the peace dollar was 1922. So that you're going to have this. So you have the last year of the Morgan, the first regular year of the peace silver dollar. What a great so set. that is significant numismatically as well. Now add in the condition, the fact that these are original uncirculated coins. Keep in mind, they were made in 1921 and 1922. These are not reprints or remakes. And that's the thing, people are going, wait a minute, 50 bucks, they're solid silver, they're original uncirculated condition, like I said, nationally advertised catalog, $113 a piece. So 226, so even at 149, great opportunity. At $99, it's just like, you know, you, you gotta really step up for these uh, uh, to be able to get this coin. So fantastic, fantastic opportunity for you to be able to get these right here, uh, uh, particularly at their sale price of $99.95. Like I said, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds oh, of these yeah. already gone. And once again, look, I, I could get probably two or 3,000 of these coins if I, if I was indiscriminate, if I was $113 a coin. Right, okay? <laughs> right. You know, and we were 226 I could yes. probably get 2,000 coins. But at $99.95, my quantity is very finite. It is very limited, and we are very much near the end of that quantity as we speak right now, probably down to what we have there. Uh, uh, there's the sold quantity yes, over 500. Yes, how many 500 sold? And then we have 250, so we're two-thirds sold out. 200 yeah. on the line, so... Yeah. And assuming they all buy one, I mean... Yeah, and if everybody buys two, it, it's probably pretty close to being gone. So here's the deal. You got about a 20 second, 15 seconds, folks, to make your decision, make your buying decision on this. Remember, you got the 30-day money-back guarantee, you got the flight, yes. you got all the... Oh, all yeah, the we HSN do a 30-day 30, 30 money-back guarantee. I'm glad you said that, because other coin places, you may not... Like, they, the company may not even be there. We are a publicly traded company. You get it home if you don't love it returns and exchanges within 30 days but this one isn't going to be around i mean we're just got crazy on it but we're going to move <laughs> on because we've got more goodies in this hour um but coming up we've got our showstopper and take a look it's a big proof set that we're going to be presenting later on in the show uh First time back since August, and we've got the entire collection. So that is the first 25 years of San Francisco Mint proof sets, 68 to 92. It's under $300 today at $299.95. How about the, like $10 a set? I gotta, I gotta fix that, it's making me crazy. <laughs> is okay, it making you crazy? Yeah, is, yeah, is there a little uh, yeah, shine yeah, on that yeah, one? The, the yeah, shine is, because yeah. we have all of the- He will the, not be able to focus, <laughs> yeah, right. he did not. That's basically, <laughs> but, you, yeah. got, you got all of the Eisenhower dollars in there, you've got, you, you've got some great mm -hmm. silver Kennedys in oh, there yeah. at basically 10 bucks, 12 bucks a set. It's absolutely positively amazing. Right.
a great, great show. Okay, so. All right, so we're gonna continue on. We've got more, now keep shopping. We're gonna keep you posted. I know that piece dollar set is everybody's like getting in on it. So we're gonna do a little quick four, four three or four minutes. Here. Okay, so 2019, um, San Francisco enhanced reverse proof PF70 built more silver eagle? Baltimore. Baltimore, I'm sorry, Baltimore. A city silver. in Maryland. I was, wait, what is that price? Okay, eight. this one, I'm gonna, this one's, I can't afford this one, but eight, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> this might be one of the most expensive coins I've ever presented, so I'm gonna let Mike tell you what it is. It, it, it's a simple thing. The United States government last year, like I said, they had a good year. They did the Apollos, they did all the cool stuff. Right. They said, you know what, how we're gonna end the year? We're gonna go ahead and end the year. Yeah by making the rarest silver eagle we've ever done. For years and years and years and years, the king of the American silver eagle was the 1995 W. They made 30,125 of those coins. In perfect condition, I think the last one I sold here was about $29,000. How do you remember all those numbers? Uh, I, yeah, well, that's know. what I do. It's the, only, <laughs> I it's the only thing I have to <laughs> yeah, do okay. is remember all those numbers. So they made 30,125. It was the king. It was the rarest silver eagle. So last year, the United States Mint says, well, we're gonna make, the, we're gonna make a silver eagle that's rare, just for no particular reason. So they made the 19, 2019 S, the enhanced reverse proof, which they'd only made in 2019, oh. that enhanced reverse proof, at the San Francisco Mint. Yeah. They made 30,000 coins. Whoa. They made it available on, uh, 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 you know, to the general public. They, have a, they had a website to, to sell the thing. How fast did it go? Uh, it, well, they had a million people get on the website for 30,000 coins in the first 60 seconds. Oh my god. So goodness. you can obviously understand with 970,000 yeah. disappointed people yes. that were out there, uh, uh, they did this. Now, there was a subset of release. They had the ANA show in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, wow. They oh, released 600 of the coins at Baltimore. 600. 600 of the 30,000. That's even more limited. So oh, this is from the very first day and the Baltimore show. It was such a big deal, they, and, and for the very first time in history, the United States government numbered the certificates of, of this, yeah. We've already uh, sold two. Yeah, well, last time I had, I had 20 of these, which is like, I, you have to understand, I paid thousands and thousands. So uh, yeah. people would stand in line, they would get a $70 coin, yeah. they would walk off the thing, and I would stand there, and I would give them $4,000 oh in cash. Oh my gosh. And that's how we got the coins at Baltimore with NGC standing there. Okay, you got this at Baltimore. You have the ticket. You have to all that. Then we have it certified. Not all of them were 70. It was so important, we had to certify the certificate. See, that's what this, this is laminated. This is and just, I've never seen no, no, that no. The, the, the certificate's in there. This oh, is a there. holder. Oh, okay. oh, a holder. This yeah. is a ultrasonically sealed NGC <laughs> currency holder. Oh my goodness. So that the certificate matches the number of the coin. The coin must match the certificate number because they know the certificate numbers that were released at Baltimore. And so I own exclusively the PSS label that you see right here. The sum total of the PSS labels in existence are 50. I would not buy a coin this expensive anywhere else but HSN, by the way. Precisely. I would not risk, you've now, got to really. Because when yeah. you do this, you risk all kinds of um, oh, yeah. shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shen <laughs> nice. Shen yes. Shenanigans Shenanigai. is what you get. <laughs> <Right>? So here's <laughs> what happens here. I was at Baltimore. Yes. I bought the coins at Baltimore. Right. I sent them into NGC. They picked them up at the show. Oh. They certified them. They gave them to me with the certificates. I'm selling them to you. And here's what happens. There is an unbroken chain of custody and provenance of the it's coin. It's like a coin crime scene. Right. Right? Because of the unbroken chain of custody. You have to have that. Like <laughs> to avoid shenanigans. <laughs> That's okay. very nice to say. By the way, my producer just told me something that I wish I had said at the very beginning. We're doing VIP financing on this. So what that means is if you have an HSN card, you can have a year to pay this off with wow. no interest and no fees. So you have a year, and I know obviously this is an investment coin. So if you don't have an HSN card, you can apply, and if you're approved, oh, you even get $10 off a single item purchase. Nice. Not the $10 so only, of this. So only right, right. dollars I know, but I'm just telling nice. you, you need to get $10. I know you're reading the card. That doesn't even, <laughs> I, I sound, sounded silly coming out of my mouth. Now here's the yeah. amazing part, and, and I know you look at this, the shipping handling is $25. Right. Okay. 
and you're going, okay, $25. That doesn't even begin to cover the insurance. I was just about to say, the insurance alone that, on the, shipping The shipping is, and handling of $25 is a steal right, for, for a $10,000 coin. Right, because you insure this. Yeah, yeah. of so, course. Yeah, I mean, we have to carry private insurance because we ship all kinds of other coins. We do a lot of very yeah. rare numismatic stuff as well. I do a lot of that other stuff. Uh, and so it's absolutely, positively spectacular. Mm. So folks, the, very, very important. So this is the enhanced uncirculated Baltimore coin. I think yeah. we have three or four left. Okay. I mean, I, I had 20 that I brought in okay. here. I sold about half last time. I, I want to sh... Okay. What's that? Of these? 30 of these left. Okay, we had 800. Yeah. I got 30 left. 30 left. Okay, we got 30 <laughs> left of the 1921 Morgan Silver Dollars, the 1922 Peace Dollars, uncirculated, $99.95. We sold 800. Uh, two dozen of you get on the phone in the next yes. 10 seconds. Yep. Okay. $33.32 to get home. 287-205. And by the way, there are more coins on hsn.com that Mike has curated for us um, that you can pick up. You see, look at customer pick customer pick customer pick you i mean we are so excited to have some of these you know rare and they come in and out by the way there'll be a coin that michael put on uh hsn.com that there's three of so we're not going to do a presentation on tv so keep checking back to hsn.com and just put coins in the search and see all the goodies that we have on a daily basis so we're going to keep you posted on everything that we've been talking about but we're going to move on as i'm taking a peek uh to the 2019 u.s mint limited edition prize of two nations set for $239.95. And I, the Pride of Two Nations, I think I presented a before when we first got out, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. When it first came out. First so, came out but yeah. let's let's get to this real yeah. quick. This this set sold out in a single day from the United States Mint. The United States Mint, for the very first time in its history, collaborated right. with another country to make a coin. To make nice. The pride of two nations. Right. So they did an American Silver Eagle, and then they did a Canadian modified proof mm -hmm. uh, maple, silver maple leaf. And they are exclusive to the set. You can't get them anywhere but the Pride of Two Nations set. Right. I have the pair at $239.95. Mm -hmm. Here's the, the special part of this. Okay. This coin is an enhanced uncirculated United States Mint American Silver Eagle. They've only made one other one, and it's this $9,000 coin. Oh. Okay? Okay. In 2019, the only difference between these two coins is this coin has a W Mint, and this coin has an S Mint. So $9,000. Part of a set for two thirty nine ninety five, and the only difference is the is the, is the mint. mint now. But you're going, ah, oh, yeah, but they made a trillion of these. No, no, no. This is the rarest American silver eagle. It's nine thousand dollars. The next rarest American silver eagle is the nineteen ninety five W. In this condition, is twenty five thousand to thirty thousand dollars. The next rarest American silver eagle is this one. Really? The Whoa. one after this is the two thousand and six. Reverse proof American Silver Eagle, it's a $1,500 coin. So you've got 9,000, 30,000, 239, <laughs> 1,500. And by the way, with this, you get the original government packaging right. and the Canadian Maple Leaf coin that is also unique right. to this set as well. Oh, I got a quick update for you guys. Thank you so much for your calls and orders. Those are sold out, the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar coin set. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much for your calls and orders. So we're gonna go back to this. And this was this the very first collaboration? Yes, very first time the United States government worked with another mint to make you know silver coins like this. So yeah. what you have here is, what in economics, what would they call this? A market imbalance, yeah, okay? okay? Yeah. They only made, they made 30,000 of this coin, that's nine grand. They only made 100,000 of this coin. But don't markets correct themselves? They, they should, <laughs> okay? But I would get this before they do, <laughs> oh, okay. okay? That's Let's get it the today whole before point. The you have got a significant, what yeah. I consider to be numismatic market imbalance. You have got a coin that is basically completely and totally and utterly overlooked right. in the marketplace today, which is this coin set right here at 230. Right. Now keep in mind, this set sold out from the United States Mint in a single day. I remember it being crazy popular it was when, when we had it. Yeah. The certified versions of this, I think, were 499, 599 yeah. uh, is what we were selling them for. I've got the original sets in the original government packaging with all the original government certificates of authenticity and the box and the whole thing for right. $239. So once again, you've got 9,000, <laughs> you've got 30,000. 1,500. 
hundred. Two thirty. Well, that's the one the, on the, the other side, side of, of this. It, yeah, okay. And, and this then is, the one after that, you know. And so you put all of those in. This coin is just out of whack in the middle of that. Now keep in mind, that is not belying the fact that this is one of the right. rarest silver eagles ever made by uh, the Canadian government Doesn't as well. Doesn't this one in the border, isn't there something with oh, a little- Oh, it's very, very cool. Yeah, I want you to show everybody because I remember that. Check this out. So Canada, yeah, come, come I mean, you know, we TV. made a silver eagle, we did a special thing, but yeah. Canada really upped their game. Yeah, look how so cool look that is. So look at this, so they do this right here. And so there's the maple leaf and they did the stars and maple leaves around the outside. See that? So if they get in real close, you can see little star lines of stars and little lines yeah, of maple yeah. And if you tilt it just right, Canada appears. La, look All at that. All of them go away. One ounce, pure silver. Tilt it back. And, and those are little baby stars and maple mm -hmm. leaves. I don't know how they did that, but I, that, I hadn't seen that. Same I mean, thing like that. There's yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Look at that anti-counterfeiting technology. And, and there, you there go. she is. There's Elizabeth, uh, $5 wow. silver coin just that's like that. That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that's the anti-counterfeiting. It's like a hologram that's not a hologram that's just done with the laser just, engraving of the dies. Uh, yeah, like that, with the highs and lows. That's why that's, that's called cool. a modified proof that they're going yeah. to do. And it only comes in this set. By the way, that's a beautiful box that comes in. If we close the box, you know, this is like everything government packaging, and this is mm -hmm. like extra special that you're seeing, you know, the countries together. So everything about this is just for this set. And this, so this becomes then overnight is a set that everybody, okay, not everybody can get. You can see they yeah. made two enhanced reverse proof coins in the history of the United States Mint. The one that's available in this set, that's right. $239, yep, yep. and this one with an S mint mark. And how much is that one? Uh, well, this is $9,000. <laughs> yeah. Now, we have these that aren't Baltimore that are only like four grand. Oh, okay. oh, that's all. So nothing. Oh, okay. You know, that's, that's nothing. Just a little, just a little like something, a something there. Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just a little something, something. Just a little something. That's right. right. Uh, uh, and so, you know, but but we're looking at four thousand to ten thousand dollars for this. But you have the exact same design. The only two enhanced right. reverse proof silver eagles in the history of the United States men. But you can get this one at a price that is absolutely, positively uh, unheard of. In essence, is really what it comes down to. Uh, uh, something that is that is critically important, something that is incredibly collectible that the market has not, I don't think, has not correctly priced in mm -hmm. the marketplace simply because of the different design changes. Look, now if they made, you know, $239 would be a pretty aggressive price yeah. if they'd made 500,000 of these or they made a million of these. Right. I mean, regular, uh, you know, regular uh, Mint State Eagle, they make 40 million. The Proof Silver Eagle, they make mm -hmm. a million. They have made 100,000 of these uh, uh, Pride of Two Nation sets that you're going to have right here. So those are, so I only have 380 of these left at this price. I got a guy who gave up on these. He didn't do the math. Okay? So because he couldn't do the math, now you get a great deal. Oh okay? my gosh. Because one of the things that I do on these is I track this stuff. So I'm going, okay, what's a coin that has been overlooked? What is a coin that I think is truly yeah. undervalued? What is a coin that I think is a fantastic numismatic opportunity? And that's what this coin represents to me. It is a unique design only released in 2019. It comes only in this set. It is, it is, it is extraordinarily rare in its own right, but it is, when you look at the other coins from a mint perspective, a mintage perspective around it, it's a tremendous value, in mm -hmm. my opinion, given the fact that there's so few of them. And then all of a sudden it got overshadowed by the 19S that was one mm -hmm. of the greatest increases in the history of American numismatics. Oh, yeah. It went from $70, $70 to $7,000 in like two weeks. Oh, and we don't have a lot of these. There's about 300 and something, Rick, right? And 360. So that is it. And this is new. The item number to order is 710501. And don't forget about FlexPay. You take four months to pay it off. However, we ship with the first FlexPay. So you give us $59.99 and we ship the set out to you. And you have 30 days for returns and exchanges for all of our coins and the whole, you know, anything that you mm -hmm. get here. You've tried finding a coin dealer that's going to give you 30 days to mull it over. It's just not going to happen. And so now now what we have is, once again, a United States coin that is, by finish, one of only two coins. 
So I think it is functionally and incredibly yeah. rare from that standpoint. Absolutely. The fact that it only comes in this set. You mm -hmm. get the set with the certificate of authenticity. I'm going to give you the Canadian coin as well, right. which, which is arguably very cool. is just as rare and just as valuable. Right. That means that this is more like $120 uh, mm -hmm. uh, for this particular also coin. Also that they're originally together in the original box because, you know, this is the very first time we've done a collaboration with another mint. That's another thing. That's right. And it's like the third rarest American Silver Eagle ever done by the United States Mint. Yet it's at a price that should make it that that that, that sh it shouldn't be in the top 10 in terms of rarity in uh, terms of price right when you get this at 200 and uh 239 dollars and 95 cents it wasn't that long ago uh, all we have is 300 left we got lots of folks on the phone i think absolutely fabulous opportunity for you uh, uh to be able to pick that up oh yeah absolutely now we're going to jump into our next item this is going to be quick we're just going to talk about our next selection uh for just a couple of minutes and i want to say at the top of it that you can use your HSN card to purchase it. It's $41.66 a month if you take a year to pay off the 2019 first day of issue Royal Canadian Mint release Pride of Two Nations set. Shh. What? This one nobody knows about. Oh, they, okay, well, I'll be quiet. So I just showed you the Pride of Two Nations. <laughs> yeah. So they did the, the United States Mint, Canadian Mint, and that was released by the United States Mint. They did 100,000 coins. The Canadian Mint released a set. Oh, the, oh. Of the coins too. Oh, oh. Canadian with the Canadian mint over here, right. and, the, and the U.S. mint gave them coins for this smaller box. Right. Certified that. You know how many of these they did? How many? Ten thousand. <gasps> so, so now you've got that thirty thousand limited edition coin that's nine grand. Well, now you have one that's ten thousand limited. Oh my edition goodness! Because this is from the Canadian set that you're going to have right we're, here. We're doing a hundred dollars off we're sale doing price. We're doing a hundred dollars off this. It's the last. I got. I got a couple dozen of these. That's why I only have a uh, hundred of these. I had no idea I had any of the Canadian release. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, we put the. Uh, uh, we put the. Uh, uh, we have the wrong sample up there for that. Okay. It says U.S. Mint release. Okay. Uh, we need the Canadian release coins is what that is. You'll get the Canadian. There it is. There we it is. We use that one for the reverse. There okay. We okay. Now we're fine. Sorry. So we're going to do that. That's okay. Because, <laughs> but like I'm saying, So the Canadian released that. an American coin. The, the American coin, That's yes. never happened. Yeah. So if you look at the Canadian, I thought that was a big addition. There's only yeah. 420 of the oh, Canadians okay. that we have uh, with this. And so it's the Royal Canadian Mint release. That's the key. Uh, they only released 10,000 sets. Okay. They only released 10,000 sets. I, and, and, and took everybody by surprise. It's Nobody, this first day of issue. These are first day of issue. I bought these on the very very first day oh. from the Royal Canadian Mint oh. back in the day. It even comes in a different box that you see. It's a tiny And these are box. numbered. These are numbered of Because they're first day of issue. Oh, okay. Absolutely. 100% exclusive to us. So this is that Pride of Two Nations. It is absolutely stunning. And only 10,000 <laughs> sets <laughs> ever made. This is the quietest, rarest <laughs> Silver Eagle ever made on in the marketplace today. And you have wow. an opportunity to pick up. I had a couple of dozen sets. So I said, all right. hey, let's take $100 off and see how, how fast we can make the phone. All right. Break. First come, first serve. <laughs> Six, right. Absolutely. 79730 is the item number. I know that was really quick because we don't have a lot of them. All right. So we're going to talk about style for a second. We're going to switch gears. We've got lots of incredible programming here at HSN. Would love for you to indulge your inner fashionista with the fresh and fabulous designs you will find during Obsessed with Style. Tune in Thursday from 7 to 9 a.m. for your weekly wardrobe inspiration with fashion, shoes, jewelry, handbags, everything. So I hope you tune in. We're going to take a teeny little break. And then Mike and I have another 40 minutes of our Coin Collector show. Lots more surprises, so stay tuned. The List is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made The List. HSN and QVC launched a nationwide search to find the next big brands. Entrepreneurs faced our expert judges for a chance to see their dreams come true. This is a dream that I had since I was 15 years old. Now, for the first time ever, they will be able to bring their products to you live. This is everything we ever wanted. <laughs> Discover all the exciting and innovative products coming up on The Big Find. 
all remote controls are the same? Think again. Now when you're watching HSN and you see something you want, you can use your remote control to order it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's a safe way to order. With HSN, shop by remote. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. My name is Helen Keeney. This, of course, is Mike Mizak, our resident expert numismatist. And we're going to continue on with our exciting two-hour coin show. Uh, we've just got about 40 minutes left in the show. Well, 36 minutes now. So it's the 19... I have to be exact with numbers around this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's true. 1923 uncirculated silver piece dollar Already popular, $59.95. We had a deal on a set of the peace dollars. They sold out. Yeah, that's right. We sold, sold 800 out. of those, the Morgan dollar and the peace gone. dollar. Gone. Gone. So Completely gone. That was, that was the 1922. So, and then in 19, and this is a customer pick, at $79.95. <laughs> the last yeah. two times I've aired this has been $79.95. Right. Uh, folks, for those of you that got a bit, you got a great price. You got a great coin. Yes. I would get this. Cost average down to $69. Got a smoking deal on some peace dollars at the last show. So I'm passing that on to you. And I did that before silver popped up. And as silver goes up, the premiums on these dollars go up. And so we have a 1923. So if you bought the two coin set, the 21 and the 22, and you want to keep going with peace dollars, this is the, the next coin. So this comes in its own individual holder. Look at this. Customer pick, $59.95. Absolutely uncirculated. Now, the reason people always say, so why do they call it a peace dollar? Well, World War I ended, and the world was tired mm -hmm. of war. Uh, as well, you can see. I mean, uh, yes. what, a million, a million plus folks uh, mm. uh, uh, died in in that conflict, and so the United States government wanted to commemorate the end of that war. And they did it with what was called the peace dollar, and they did it with the design of the coin, which is so amazing. So you have Lady Liberty that you can see right there, just absolutely looking resplendent. But then the eagle on the reverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the eagle on the verse, usually on most American coins, the eagle is in flight. In one talon, it holds the eagle, the, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, olive branch of peace, and in the other one, the talons of war. So mm -hmm. that you would, in its other talon, the arrows of war. So that you can pick. In this one, it has only the olive branch of peace. Additionally, on the obverse of the coin, in God we trust, that is not misspelled. They intentionally made that a V. For those of you that for paid attention, victory? V for victory, victory, which of course yeah. was the American motto during World War, War I, I as well. And so that's what we've got. And so we've got an original 1923 peace dollar at $20 off. So once again, I bought these at a show it's six or eight weeks ago. Silver's gone up a fairly dramatically. I'd have to be probably closer back to that $79.95. <laughs> yeah. But once we get that quantity, once we lock right. that in, then we lock that in for the next show. That's just the way it is. It's a great opportunity for you. Super, uh, you know, super thing to be able to do. And of course, the peace dollar is such an amazing thing. So they made, uh, uh, because it was the first year of real year of issue, the 1922, they made a lot of coins in essence, okay? They made a lot of the peace dollars in 1922. They then started reducing the mintage by 1923. Because you don't need that many uh, uh, peace dollars. You don't need that many peace dollars, you know, that are out there circulating because you have the Morgan silver dollars, then you have the peace silver dollars. And so they start winding down, uh, they start winding down the mintage on those particular coins in 1923 is ultimately what it comes down to. Uh, uh, and so that's what we have. So mm. as we go down the, down the way, if you okay. will. Okay. Okay. Next year. 1924s, which now start to really functionally get pretty rare. The deal I bought had 24s in it at the same, same price, price as 1923s. Wow. So now if I look at the nationally advertised catalog, you know what they have that point for? $123. Okay, the 1924 is 123 three dollars in uncirculated condition is it any wonder that it's a customer pick at 79.95 at 59 dollars and three and flex pay cents, three flex pays because they're all flex pays now i guess yeah you know, for the most part mm -hmm. uh, other than maybe that nine thousand dollar coin Wait, which it, was the it VIP. was a year you had yeah, a year, a year. Yeah, yeah, starting a year january 1st 2020 everything has three flex pay or more on air and on.com yeah. so 
That's uh, a that's, big deal. That's, that's and, a pretty big deal. Yeah. And so to be able to get this coin at a spectacular, and remember, these are solid silver, almost an ounce of silver in each one of these. Now you have a coin that functionally, from a mintage standpoint, is, is, is starting to get rarer and rarer, significantly rarer, I think almost twice as rare as the 1922. But I can sell it to you, in essence, the same exact price. And I think that's what's really exciting about this comes in the presentation box that you see right here. Uh, a customer yeah. pick at $79.95 at the $59.95 sale price. It's a, it's fantastic with the intrinsic value as well. Right. And we're only going to talk about this for like another minute and a half. You see that on your screen. This is the uncirculated peace dollar that's $20 less than it was when it was a customer pick. So those of you who bought it at $79.95 took the time to log back into your account on hsn.com and say how much you love it. So now now, anyone who's watching right now is going to have a lower price and the same coin. Yeah, and, and, and like I said, and if you bought it in the past, you you made a great price. Yeah, it's still a great price at seventy nine ninety five. So buy another one. You cost average both of them down to, to ten dollars less at sixty nine ninety five. Nationally advertised catalog, you're up to a hundred. So one hundred thirteen dollars for the nineteen twenty three. It's one hundred twenty three dollars for mm -hmm. the nineteen twenty four in uncirculated condition. So like I said, uh, a rarer coin still, and so. When you buy peace dollars, the easiest ones to get are always the 22s and 23s. Mm -hmm. Then the peace dollars start getting hard. Yeah. Okay. And particularly, okay. you're starting to get uh, uh, significantly harder in 1924. So if you bought the, the, the two the two coin set, the 750 or 800 of you that bought the 21 and 22, so now you want to buy the 23, and now you want to get the 24, now you're headed right on up the line for the peace dollars. The thing that makes this truly fantastic, and this is the last one, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it out right now. Okay. Is I was able to get, and now I don't have as many of these, but I held the price. For the 1925? I got the 1925. Wow. Uh, I have to look in the catalog. I think it's $128 for the 1925. And good luck getting it. And good luck getting them. Yeah. Uh, they, I have a third as many of these as mm -hmm. I did, the, uh, the 23s, uh, about half as many as the 20, as the 24s. Absolutely stunning, beautiful 1925 United States peace dollar. And like I said, the fact that I could hold the price on the 24 was pretty amazing. To hold the price on the 1925, mm -hmm. almost all the peace dollars, people say, hey, they, my uh, grandfather gave me coins. It's always a 1922 peace dollar. <laughs> yeah. It's always a 1922 peace right. dollar in, in pretty ratty condition. Not okay? uncirculated. Not uncirculated. <laughs> yeah. And so then occasionally you'll see some 1923s, occasionally some 1924s, but then you don't see much after that, 25s. And then by the time you get to 1928, uh, uh, the 1928 is, uh, I think 28 P is what, about a $2,000 coin or something like that, a nice, really high grade uncirculated. I mean, you know, so now you start getting tremendous rarity within this because they really start cranking down uh, uh, the, the peace dollars by 28. And then, of course, you know, then what happens is, is, you know, you're starting to have some economic issues starting to happen. And so they, they last make the peace dollar in 1935. Uh, you know, they didn't make it in like 1931, 32. I mean, you know, they didn't make it even make it in those years because of the Great Depression. And so this is leading up to that and they're just reducing the, the mintage, mm -hmm. reducing, reducing, reducing the mintage. So then to be able to get this coin in a nice uncirculated condition for the same price as the 24, the 23, even the 22 is virtually unheard of. I don't have nearly as many of these, but it still is part and parcel of the set. Okay, is what you're you're doing, and so to be able to do the sale price in the face of rising silver. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So silver went up about 10 percent, so we lowered our price by 20 percent. Okay. So that's <laughs> what we do by 24 percent. I think actually is what it comes down to, 23 percent. And so uh, uh, absolutely incredible opportunity there. But what happened is, is somebody moved a big chunk of them. I bought those. Right. So when I get a good deal, you get a good deal, and that's right. what we try to do. And that's what makes a show here for us. Right. It's not just what we see. What we have is just, oh, let's see what I got laying around the warehouse. Right, right, you know, right. It's I, what can I've you do seen, a great deal seen on? people do that. It's the things that I think are uh, underappreciated, that I can get a great price on, that have great intrinsic value, has got great social value, like the baby bat five ounce coin. I think mm -hmm. I've only got about 100 left of those uh, that were very cool as well. Mm -hmm. And then when I get this, which is a very historic mm -hmm. coin, the peace dollar, and then what amounts to a relatively low mintage, and then an absolute stunningly great price and then I'm able to give you a condition as well and uncirculated gives you a, uh, a spectacular opportunity now 
This is not getting a presentation, but we're gonna just go to hsn.com and show you one of the goodies. I know Mike can speak to this. Uh, this is the 1922 to 1925 MS65 Philadelphia Mint silver piece dollar four coin set for under $500. They're mint 65, which is like a whole different level. Right. So now you're up to $125. They're all graded and sealed in the Red Oak presentation 100%, box. 100%, yeah. yeah. They're certified mint state 65 mm -hmm. in that $59.95 Red Oak presentation There's a perfect five-star review on yeah, that. As, yeah, as they should be. Spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. Uh, I don't have enough to air, but I did right. want to show you uh, those right there. Certified mint state 65 at 125 bucks a coin. Okay, that great, great value there. All right, well, we're going to take a teeny little break. Mike and I have another 26 minutes left, and we've got lots more surprises, so stay tuned. our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. We've got such a big set, we have to move our move our studio around well, a little I, bit. I want to show it in the box and then I have it out of the box so I can kind yeah. of pick some of the pick some of the coins out of that. That is uh, one of the biggest red oak presentation boxes I've ever seen, and that is a beautiful look at, this. Look this at is that. What we call our wow. piano finish. That is gorgeous. Look at that. This is absolutely stunning with the varnish on it. So 71 to 78 Eisenhower brilliant uncirculated silver dollar 32 coin set. Uh, I know what we have, how many we have of these. Okay. Uh, Rick, do you happen to have the last time we aired this? Um, I, I, I suspect it's been years. I don't have it, yeah, I don't, I I don't even have it written years. on here. We are doing 12 month VIP financing on it though. I suspect it's been years. Yeah, oh yeah. I, because in terms of modern issue coins, people always want to try to put together complete sets. Right. And it's very difficult mm -hmm. because there's lots of different variations. Mm -hmm. They made 32 different Eisenhower silver dollars. This set contains all 32 Eisenhower silver dollars. Oh. Every uncirculated, every proof, oh. every silver, every clad, every iteration of the Eisenhower dollar, all 32 of them are included in this set right here. Well, I can see some of them coin. with the mirror finish. I can see the different finishes just from like glancing over the top. Just to, just to put it into perspective, if we can start right here. That's the bicentennial, I guess 1974, then the bicentennial Eisenhower. Yeah, 76. If we can go down over here then, please. And let's go across okay. from here. Bicentennial-like, bicentennial-like, bicentennial. -like, Bicentennial, 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 and, and, and yet another bicentennial. That's how many different, but they made eight. Iterations of they it? They made eight different bicentennial Eisenhower silver dollars because they made them for two years. Yeah. So they made 75 and 76. The bicentennial didn't say, they made them in clad and made them in, and made them in silver. They made them in type one and type two. They made them in proof and uncirculated. And this is so, all of them. And this is all of them. Normally, you can easily pay $499.95 just for those. Now, so you get 32 coins here. So you're paying about $15 a coin. And, and, and that's not even counting the box at $79. Yeah. This thing is at least, this is a piece of furniture. So $15 yeah, a coin. Nice. I want to point you to, and let me find it, this coin right here. 
That is the silver, and you can see it's silver. Uh, as here's the proof, and here's the silver. You can see the silver coins stand out. See yeah. where the silver coins are? You can just actually point out the silver right. coins. That's the silver on circular. This is the silver coin. That coin right there, nationally advertised catalog, $128. That's the key coin in the Eisenhower silver dollar oh, set. Oh, really? You pay $15. You're paying $15. As a matter of fact, on a coin-by-coin -coin basis, I went and looked them up out there, and it is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely stunning what these uh, uh, what these Eisenhower silver dollars sell for. There's not a single solitary one of them that's less than the $15 than, per yeah, coin. Yeah, it's thing. like 25 bucks. It's like the All lowest of the price silvers if you could get are, it. Are at least 45 to oh, 55 dollars. Really? Absolutely. Wow, that's... these are really cool coins. These are original brilliant uncirculated and or brilliant proof. So as I'm looking in the catalog here, so for instance, if I look at just the silver clads, and there were four years of those, 71, 72, 73, and 74, those coins alone, $46, $45.50, $128, and $60 for those four proof silver coins at the beginning of the set. So that's that's 300 bucks <laughs> for four of the coins. And you get 32, and we're not even up to the ones that are the All most valuable. All of the uncirculated silver coins are $45 a coin. I'm not counting the the bicentennials at this point. Right. And then if you start looking at the bicentennial, the bicentennial silvers are $100 for the two bicentennial silvers. And then if you look at the other bicentennials, the regular ones, $25, $28. I mean, you know, you start looking at any of these coins. I mean, the, the lowest price coin in here is about, I mean, you're over $1,000 mm. coin by coin. The problem is, where are you going to find <laughs> all of the coins? You collect, you curated this for us. Every That's single the big deal. Salt That's one. the big and deal. And Rick, you've been looking for a while. Could you find the he last said, time no, I He said no, he cannot. We actually don't even have a record. It was so long ago. I'm, I'm we only track for like a maybe five years that would be on the card or something. I'm trying to look at this and, and, and remember the last time that I sold this set. I, I don't think I've ever sent it. And it's probably been five years to yeah. be able to put these together. I'm going to do something. I'm going to walk over to our wall of coins because I want to grab something. Okay, I quick. do want to say that it says on your your screen for flex pay that means you put down one fourth of the price and we mail you the entire set we are also doing vip financing which means that if you have an hsn card you have an entire year to pay off this set that includes the red out presentation box this isn't an auto ship thing where you get one coin then another you're getting all of them at once so if you don't have an hsn card you can go to hsn.com put an hsn card in the search or call the 800 number which is 6951418 no annual fee for that, by now, the Now, here's the problem with this set, why we don't sell it. Why Almost nobody sells a set like this, particularly like this. Yeah. Regardless of price, whether it be $1,000 right. or four ninety nine. Are you going to say the only way to get one of them is to crack open a well, set? Well, sure. The, way to get, the only <laughs> yeah. way to get no, most, most of, of them. them. Oh, right. So if you're looking at the proof coins in this set. Right. You know how you get a 1973 proof Eisenhower silver dollar, you take one of these you sets, get, it's get, the only way the to only get way it. The only way, crack it out. You, you put this yeah. in a towel and you smash <laughs> it open with a hammer. Right. It's the only way to get that Be coin. careful not to ruin the coin. That's exactly the point. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way to get, so this coin right. started in one of these sets. You want a type one bicentennial? You know, the only way to get it is to smash it out of one of these so sets. So that's getting expensive. I've got to buy all those sets You've got to in buy order all to crack the them sets, open to get the and one. And then you got to get all the silver sets that go with oh, it. Okay. So you got to get the brown pack sets, you got to get the blue pack sets, right. you got to get all of these sets that are out there. So of these coins, they go, well, which ones did they did they release into circulation? And there's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. About 14 of the coins they released into circulation. But these are brilliant uncirculated. That's right. So 14 of them were generally available. That means 18 of the coins. We're not. We're not. You had <laughs> yeah. to get proof sets, mint sets, uh, this multitudinous right. bit of... So you couldn't buy them by themselves. No. You had to buy all of that in order to get it. So now you've got to go out and put together this set. So you got to go try to find this coin by coin by coin, and you got to buy proof sets, and you got to smash them open. I don't know what you do with the rest of the coins, right. but you got to do all that stuff. Then you got right. to go uh, get them in a red oak presentation box so you can get them just like this. I'm going to turn that one Is around so that you can see Is the Eisenhower the most valuable in the set? Uh, the 73 right here, the 73 silver this one right here that, 120, that's... $128 this coin the, right here is just by itself. Just this that coin one. right here is one hundred twenty-eight dollars out of, the, uh, and it's not even in one of those sets. It's in the it's in the uh, Brown Pack Ike set. Okay, then you do that. Now you have to buy thirty-two capsules. 
Okay, these capsules are gonna run you about 79 cents a piece, these right. special capsules. And the red so presentation box, that's not free. You get free. that from me, $79.95 <laughs> right. right. yeah. when I make them available right. because I don't They're not get always on hsn.com. They aren't, they aren't because they sell out so fast. Look at that beautiful piano finish. Look at this. Those are beautiful. I mean, look at that with the, with the brass piano hinge across the back. This thing weighs about three pounds is, is what it mm -hmm. comes down to. So I have $100 worth of packaging. Mm -hmm. All shipped and insured for 30 All, bucks. That's, that's a pretty right. good deal so too. So now take the whole thing count in the packaging and now you're looking at ten dollars a coin okay uh, so now try to find these now you remember there's thirty two dollars face value here there's okay. thirty two silver dollars here. oh yeah just the value okay of there course, are right. silver coins in here there's the clad coins so the whole thing that this comes down to is just the pure are they available at mm -hmm. any price and that's the thing the work is getting it in here because mm -hmm. I've got to go to a show, and so that's why once every five years I put together a quantity of these and make them available. So I put together 200 sets. Do you understand what 200 sets of these, the work that goes in to 200 and sets? And the years that go in. So I've got to start with, I got to open, take 1,500 proof sets and smash them open. 1,500 proof sets and smash them open to get the proof coins that go in here. Wow. Okay, because I need 278, so I need 277, 76, 76 type one, 76 type two, uh, 75s and 74s. Right, how uh, else? And uh, 73s, they didn't even do 71s and 72s. So the last six years, I need those. And you have all the bicentennials all in a row. All in a row. There's yeah. eight bicentennials, including all oh, the of the, the silver yeah. bicentennials that come out of entirely different sets. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay? Oh, my Put goodness. Put that whole thing together, yet you, with a single phone call, Yes. And a single flex pay <laughs> yes. can get these home to you right here, right now. Every proof, every uncirculated, all the clads, all the silvers, all of everything. The entire mm. Eisenhower silver dollar collection from 1971 to 1978, mm. including the eight bicentennials. For only $499.95. So we're not only doing four flex pay, $124.99 you give us and we mail you everything. Uh, you also can take a year to pay it off if you purchase with an HSN card. So just wanted to remind you of that. Um, item numbers on your screen, 801-387. I want to remind you of a set that we did a little a couple minutes ago, Pride of Two Nations. Half the quantity of the Pride of Two Nations limited edition have already been purchased. Um, so we've got uh, the item number 710501, and next we're going to be coming over to the proof set. I gotta put my. You gotta put yours back. back. I gotta put them <laughs> back. Like came Sorry, take I'm it. leaving. I'm That's coming okay. back. That's I got all okay. kinds of stuff. We got stuff everywhere. It's, it's all about. It's all about the coins. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So I just I wanted need, to I let you know things. the Pride of Two Nations. We did have the ones made in the U.S. and also much more limited. I think the ones made in Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, I, what did we the, sell? We sold uh, half the Canadian deal yeah, in one minute. Yeah, in one I minute. Because they only did. Most so. people don't even know about the Canadian. Well, first of all, they don't even know about the Pride of Two Nations. Right. They don't know about the Canadian subset of ten thousand coins. That was. I mean, that's just like rare. crazy rare uh, is what those are. Okay. All right. First 25 years, San Francisco uh, mint proof sets, and that is 68 to 72. Mm. I mean, did I say 92? 92. 92, sorry, 92, 92. sorry. 72, 92. So, no, my eyes are going, Mike, it's happening. This is the year it's happening, as you've already happened. Because okay, I'm looking you'll way have your across. Spectacles before I'm you usually know it. way closer to the monitor. So, I'm but, two yeah. years into the spectacles. Are you now. spectacles? Yeah. Very nice, Lonnie. Yeah. I'll yeah. get some for my. I've, I got the reading spectacles. So the price is under $300. Original government packaging. All just like they were released. Yeah. So the United States government starts making proof sets in uh, 1936. Okay. Uh, becomes one of the most single most popular collected coins almost immediately. Uh, they made them at the Philadelphia Mint. They made them at the Philadelphia Mint. There we go. They made them at the Philadelphia Mint from 1936 until 1964. Then in typical government fashion, as they moved the proof-making capacity of the U.S. Mint from the Philadelphia Mint to the San Francisco Mint, of course it took three years, okay. so 1965, 66, Six and, 67. and 67. In 1968, they start producing proof sets at, at the San Francisco Mint, which continues to this day. So the San Francisco Mint makes all of the proof sets for the United mm -hmm. States government. They have all the special processes and everything to do that. So this is the first 25 years of the San Francisco Mint 
minted United States government issue proof sets that you see right here. Every single one of them is a sold out limited edition. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them a sold out limited edition. Here's the thing. So $25 or $299. So we're looking at 25 years. So it's $12 a set. How much was it when it first came out in the government? Uh, about <laughs> that, but understand that was in 1968. <laughs> yeah, you buy a car say. for $800. I know, okay. right? <laughs> okay. But you've collected them, and I'm looking at this. I mean, some of them look like they were made yesterday. They look like they were made yesterday because yeah. they still have all the original government packaging and boxes and everything else. So you're paying about $12 a set. Now, today's set, I was say, so let's talk inflation? about today's money, 2020 <laughs> yeah. money. I think this year the United States government is going to be $40 for the United States uh, proof set. So the United States proof set's gonna be $40. So you're paying 67% less per set for the first 25 sets. You're from, paying 1968 prices for all of them. Yeah, basically, basically bring it out, yeah, doing, so, right? yeah, so I wish I could sell you cars at the 1968 <laughs> right. price. We do not have those available. I just went, fr I saw a friend of mine uh, uh, and he has a little 1967 Porsche sitting in the garage. I said, uh, he goes, yeah, it's only about 400 grand. Oh I'm my like, goodness. Oh, nice. Oh, that's as nice. I back away. <laughs> as I back away. As I back don't scratch, don't scratch. Don't touch yeah, it. Don't touch it. You wanna look at it wrong. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so understand, you know, a lot of that stuff, but coins, I can do that. Now, one of the interesting things about the coins, okay, is the fact that the 68, the 69, and the 70 are still silver. They're 40% silver for the Kennedy half dollars. Oh. The last of the show. And in 1970, no Kennedy half dollars were released into circulation in 1970. The only uncirculated one you can get is out of the mint set, the 70D, and the only uh, proof one is the 70S. So no 1970 Kennedy half dollars were released into circulation. They only come in here. And so these three coins, now remember you're paying $12.5 a mm -hmm. set. So with what was this, 25, so you have 25, uh, times five, so you have 125 coins, so they're about two and a half dollars a piece. The Kennedys here are $18.35, $23.40, and $29 and a quarter for those three Kennedy half dollars. As a matter of fact, I added it all up. I want to make this easy for you if you're a Kennedy half dollar collector. Just the Kennedy half dollars are $299.95. Just the Kennedy. Just the Kennedy half dollars are, are $299.95. Oh, and if you're a silver dollar collector and you want the Eisenhowers and the Susan B. Anthony's, they're right about $299.95 for those two. Coin by coin, you're over, well over $1,000. I was going to say. You're I well mean... over $1,000 worth $299.95 because of all of the individual coins. The most valuable year here is the 1975, the bicentennial, the first year of the bicentennial. Right. That set alone coin by coin is $65. Wow. You pay 12. As a matter of fact, the lowest price on a per coin, remember you pay $12. The lowest price is the 1985 is only $30 coin by coin. I'm gonna ask a dumb question for a beginner. What is exactly is a proof set? What does that oh, mean? No, 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 that's not a dumb, that's an excellent question. Proof, understand, is not a condition, it's a method of manufacturing. Proof coins are made differently. See, those are, they're presentation coins that are made by the United States, uh, United States Mint expressly and exclusively for collectors. They're coins, and see, I know they look like they're in better condition, but they're made differently. They're struck multiple times under higher pressure. That's what gives it this mirror finish that you see right there, that, that's like this. It's because of the extra pressure on the die. It literally just smooths the silver out and forces the, uh, the, 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 the metal into the void of the die to do that. And then they polish the dies so that the dies are absolutely smooth. Right. So when they hit that metal, they leave that mirror finish. So they're meant to be pretty and looked at and collected and... It's it's such it's such a hand process that when they strike a proof coin, so like, I don't know if you've ever been to the mint. So when they make regular what we call business strike coins, it looks like a coin machine gun when they strike <laughs> these things. I mean the mint the, the thing is going so fast and it's spitting coins out. It looks like it's a machine gun of coins. Okay, proof coins on the other hand are struck multiple times, higher pressure, very slow. Between every ten or twenty coins, they stop. They take a rag. 
They wipe the dye. Oh, not to they have anything the on the... Uh. That's right. So to make sure that it's nice and clean and you get this nice mirror finish uh. that you're going to have right here. So it is the highest example of the Minter's art. And the other thing is, is because of that, the San Francisco Mint has to go through these special processes to make coins mm. of this quality. How clean and that's do they, why they keep come those in here. places? What? How do they keep those places so clean? Oh, it's just, it's crazy. Right, because one little thing of dust is going to ruin that. It's what calls a strike through. And, yeah. and they'll... And they'll and the, quality assurance they'll just kick all the coins out and they'll just start making them again and then they come out in trays they put them in the thing they put them into the holders and it's a little more automated today than it was back in this day yeah i was but gonna say you get all of those things but that are in back here. in the beginning in the 68 how hard and how labor intensive was that it's it's incredible and so to be able to get this coin, and we're going to give you the boxes too the boxes are actually in some ways harder to get than this because the they other don't thing last. is yeah is so we just sold i keep i keep popping in there uh, we just sold a hundred Eisenhower sets. Yeah. Okay, just right there. Just right there. So, in that Eisenhower set, I needed the 73 that you see over there in front of you, top shelf, top shelf all the way over. So I need that set, okay. this set, this set, this set, this set, and this set. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I had to smash open 600 sets. There's 600 <laughs> sets that this week no longer exist. Right. We took 100 of each one of these sets and had to smash them open just for that last set that we sold. Now, right. we actually smashed open 200 because I had 200 sets available. Right. So we opened up 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. 1,200 of these sets literally no longer exist. So right. when I say that these sets get rarer literally every single solitary day, I, I mean that. More of these coins are sold individually than they are as sets. So the sets become even more desirable and even more collectible as you go forward. Because let's say you're a Kennedy half dollar collector. Right, which there are many. There are millions. Yeah. <laughs> if you want a 1986 San Francisco minted Kennedy half dollar, the only place to right. get it is out of one of these sets. I suspect over the years, what's the half dollar in 86? That's a $14.80 coin in 1980. Just the coin, not just, the set. Just this, just this. Yeah, just we're, that one you're guy. You're $12.50 for the set. I suspect over the years, we have opened up, I bet you we've smashed open a million US proof sets. I would guess somewhere right in that, there might be more. Because we've sold uh, uh, state quarter sets. I mean, I sold 50,000 proof state quarter sets mm -hmm. in boxes. Yeah. That required 500,000 proof sets that I had to smash open. It's the only way that they come. So I've actually, when I say a million, that's absolutely well short. It's got to be closer to 2 million or even 3 million sets that they've made of the United States government proof sets that we literally smash open and make rare every single solitary year. And that continues to happen each and every year. So we sell here all the time Susan B. Anthony sets. Yeah. We sell hundreds and hundreds and thousands of Susan B. Anthony sets. And where do I get those coins? I think that 1979 right. set no, that I you see over there. Set, right? and the uh, 1980 and then, yep. set right here. Mm -hmm. And the 1981 set right there, if I sell 500 sets, I smash open 500 right. of these and 500 of those. So as the years go by, if I'm understanding this right, getting all of them together is going to be rarer and harder and harder. And as that's get more not and more changing... And more. Ever. ever. <laughs> right, I was okay. going to say, ever. That's not changing ever mm -hmm. because... I'm selling this for $299. If I smash it open, I can sell it for $1,100. Okay, uh, you, know, I don't, you know, you don't have to have a PhD to do the math on that, okay? $299 or $1,000. But what we have, I think it's important that people have an opportunity because we sell lots of modern issue proof sets. People have been collecting much more since 1999. They collect most of the modern issues. They don't always have a chance and they can buy them. Okay, you buy a set here, mm -hmm. you buy a set there, you right. may be able to get this set, you may be able to get that set. But to get the first Do 25 years yeah. with one phone call at $12 a set, all of a sudden <laughs> becomes a tremendous opportunity for right. you. Uh, uh, at a set, instead of paying $1,000, you're paying $12 a set, and you're getting each and every one of these sets has been individually hand-selected mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. by us. Those sets that we tend to smash open, right. they'll have a problem with them. So mm -hmm. as we're making these mm -hmm. sets, I go, oh, the penny's awful. So that goes oh, in yeah, the bin. There goes. Okay, the nickel's bad here. This is bad here. All those sets go in there, and those are the sets that we spent. doesn't have a box. Okay, oh, the yeah. box is torn, the, missing right. a certificate of authenticity, and that's the way they get sorted. Right. 
Wow. So as we buy literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of vintage United States proof sets, that's how, that's the sorting feature. Right. You get not only the best of the best that the U.S. Mint has to offer, right. you get the best of the best of what we have to offer. Right. So and as years go by, as people crack them open, as you, Mike, personally, in your company crack them open, they're going to get more and more and more limited. And you have to understand how many of these things that we go through. So this is 25 sets. Uh, we have a couple of 300 of these. I'll sell two, we'll sell two or 300 in this area. So let's say we sell 200. It's 25 sets. That's 5,000 proof sets, <laughs> okay, that we sell tonight. I sold 150 Eisenhower sets. That's another 2,000 proof sets we smash open. So now 7,500 proof sets are gone in one show. One show. And so what happens yeah. is, is now you get these, you put these back, and these are sets that right. literally get rarer and rarer right. and, and rarer years with each now, and every passing day. Right. That's how right. are they gonna, you know, how are you gonna put all this together? And, and so all of a sudden we're going out right. there and we go, oh, we just need some 80 proof sets. You used right. to get, I mean, I could make a call and get a, a thousand of them. Now we put them together six at a time, eight at a time, 12 at a time. Yeah. We buy every proof set that right. comes our way. And you only and come it, on with this when you have collected enough to even do a show. And when was the last time we sold this? Um, we just said that. It was like forever ago. You know what? Uh, I wonder I if it's... I think you have that one written down. Um, uh, it's, I think I do August of 2019. Yeah. So it's, been, it's been six months. Yeah. It's been six yeah. months right. since I've been able to put together 200 right. sets of yeah. these that, right. mat, m that right. meet the standards that we want with the right. box, with the coins, right. with everything in the coins, all doing this, and then to be able to meet the price standard <laughs> so we're $299.95 right. and yeah. not 1000 or $2,000. Right, and you're not going to come on air with 10 sets. <laughs> in order, no. to, You've got to gather a bunch to do a presentation. Well, occasionally we'll sell what are called the black box sets, which are the ones with black boxes. Oh, right. So that's all the right. silver dollar proof sets come in these black boxes that you see right here. Right. And those, I think, we sell for about $2.99 oh. uh, when we can get them because those are the silver right. dollar sets because the silver dollars alone are almost uh, $300 in there because you get all the all the Eisenhowers and the Susan B. Anthony's in that as well in the proof condition as well. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Pleasure. This is the end of our two-hour uh, coin show. Uh, coming up next, Marlo is standing by to continue shopping with you. Uh, but I will see you back on Friday. But Marlo's coming up next with Beauty Rest. Hi, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful day. My name is Marlo Smith and I'm so happy to be here with you. Well, this is going to be the final chance of our big President's Day weekend that you'll have a chance to order our first ever Beauty Rest mattress.